So, uh, Hendrick is a, is, uh, Martinsville is a Hendrick track. How do you feel about tomorrow's chances of making some great things happen? Yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a, a great track historically for Hendrick Motorsports, and especially in the spring. Um, all four of us were really good. Uh, I think we were close to a one, two, three, four. So, um, different tire and stuff, but uh, hopefully hopefully it's not too too different and we can still be fast. And yeah. cooler conditions here in the fall, um, any uh, changes there, any impact there? Well, uh, warmer conditions than what's normally. Gotcha. November. Yeah, I don't, I don't even remember what uh, it was for the spring, but um, yeah, we'll see. Well, we have more practice than we've gotten here the last couple of times, so, you know, hopefully the track will be in a better state for, you know, comparing to the race, and we can, you know, learn some more about our car and what the race tomorrow might look like. What did you end up doing, Kyle, with your championship for the month of October? Uh, it's sitting at my shop in Mooresville um, on the ground <laughs> with uh, all the rest of my trophies, um, or not all of my trophies, but majority of my trophies. Actually, now I have a new house, so I moved it to uh, the house. So I've got a nice trophy case um, there. It's got all the big, um, you know, marquee kind of pavement wins um, in it. So um, the only one that's missing would be Daytona. Um, so I'd love to have, add that someday. But uh, yeah, that's where it's living right now. But right after it went to my shop. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> if I was uh, seven below the cut line um, back then, I would just ride it off. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> we're not making the championship for this year. But uh, you know, now I feel like this is honestly one of our better tracks as a team, even though it doesn't feel that way behind the wheel to me. Um, still, like, it's it's still not a track that I get into. A, it takes me time to get into a rhythm. Um, but, you know, our results are, are really well here. We've qualified pretty good here. You have scored pretty good stage points, all that stuff. We've gotten a win. Um, it's just still not like the track where I can go dominate. Um, so, you know, hopefully this weekend will be different. But uh, yeah, we'll see. It's I definitely feel like we have a good shot though. Yeah, I think qualifying is really important every time you come to Martinsville. But it seems that in the next gen racing, um, on short tracks in general, qualifying is extremely important. So, yeah, um, hopefully, you know, today goes well and we can start up front. Cliff about the move at Homestead, and he said he gives you all the free reign you want because he knows with your talent level, you know, 99% of the time it's going to work out. How freeing is it to have a crew chief that trusts your every move? Yeah, I think it uh, it's important for my confidence to know that that you know my team has my back, I guess, in the moves that I make on the track, and um, yeah, so. Yeah, I mean that's that's good. I'd rather have it that way than you know him nitpick me afterwards. Um, but because uh, I, I mean I'm I'm my biggest critic anyways. So, um, but yeah, it's good to have the support. Is it also how long did it take you to get to the point where you gave no, you know, <laughs> you just had no regrets whatsoever? You know, how long did it take you mentally to get to that point where? you were resigned with what happens happens um i would say at home set a lot quicker than normal there's def definitely been some other moves that i've made that uh you know, didn't work out where i'll you know kick myself for a few days um but homestead wasn't i don't know for some reason i just didn't have that feeling i was i shouldn't even been in that position anyways to have a shot to win so i think that's what makes me okay with the result um you know i felt like yeah, we, we should have finished 25th and rode around in 25th or worse all day and was able to drive my ass off to have a shot. So that kind of makes me live with the result um, a lot easier. As someone whose driving style typically is at the, right at the wall, how does Martinsville make you adjust your driving style? Uh, yeah, I mean, you're not doing that here. So um, I don't know, it's just different than what I grew up doing. You know, I'm, everything I grew up racing, you're not really slowing down a whole lot in the corners. So uh, Martinsville, that's still is my biggest challenge of like how to slow down properly um, and then reaccelerate. So yeah, it's just hard to get in a rhythm. Yeah. What'd you think of the finish? What was fair, what was foul type of thing? Uh, I mean, I think it's fair. It's a fair move for Martinsville, but maybe not the smartest move. Um, given his position but uh yeah i mean a win in martinsville is, is a big deal so you know, i can 
I could support the move, but uh, yeah, and it's hard to put yourself in his shoes because you know I, I suck here, so <laughs> I might you know, I might make the same move just to try and win here. But um, yeah, it's racing, and if it comes back to bite him, it comes back to bite him, and I think he can live with that. All the Kendrick crew chiefs seem more worried about brakes this week than the tires. Is is that something you're gonna have to monitor during this this practice session and probably throughout the race on Sunday? Yeah, I don't know. I hadn't heard anybody say that yet, so um, I'm not sure. I feel like brakes have been okay in, in next-gen stuff, so we'll see. But, yeah, it's always something you monitor in practice. For the first time, and um, definitely our, we're not in the same spot this year going in. I think we're, like, plus 22 or 3, so um, much different spot this year. Do you want to know what the bubble guys are doing this week? Like, where they stand up points-wise throughout the race? I don't. I don't care. I don't care. It, I'll I'll see him on the racetrack, and I know, I know that the difference is so slim that uh, it's really about running up front and trying to win. I might have asked you about this, but qualifying today, how how important is that? It's important. Yeah, it makes your life a lot easier. Um, you can still win from 18th like we did in the spring, but uh, it definitely makes your life a lot a lot easier. So that's the goal today. Last week, there's like radio chatter that like you guys aren't teammates anymore in the in the Hendrick camp. What's what's it between you and Larson? <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. No, I mean for me, it's uh we're all competitors. We we respect each other a lot, and respect's really what it's what it's all about once you get out there. What did you learn about yourself here last year when you just really mm -hmm. gutted it out because you knew what was on the line? Um. Just how resilient I, I am and, and my team is. Um, I knew that from days of playing football and, and being a competitor since I've been younger. I've always been super competitive. So, um, yeah, I, it wasn't a surprise, but given the situation we were in, it was tough and don't want to relive that. We can't relive that this year. If we went and ran like we did last year, we wouldn't definitely wouldn't make it. So um, just got to show up with the approach we had in the spring, which was – that was an important weekend too. We wanted to win it, and and now we're back in that position, and can't wait to get out there in my car. Would you rather be the lone wolf going in? And you know, he, he mentioned rivalries. You know, you're going to have rivalries when you have four just uber competitive guys in uber competitive equipment in Hendrick. But would you rather be like the lone wolf going and doing this thing, or? Having the additional teammates to gather the data and what have you, see their lines, you know, just make the most of it to make your decision down the road. I mean, we're still going to work really well together off the racetrack, and, and even on the racetrack, we're going to have a lot of respect for each other. But you know, once you get in the race, it's going to be every man for himself, and um, you're going to go out there and do the best you can for your team. So that that's just trying to make the most lap time, trying to make good decisions on the racetrack, but off the racetrack when it comes to talking about what our cars do, um, I'm sure our, de our debrief will be just as open as it always is um, at four o'clock today. You, did you watch the truck race last night? I did. From your days in the truck race, you, you had dominating trucks, you know, you had nights like Christian Neck is where you were just balls out, you know, mm -hmm. away from the competition. Yeah. <sighs> Has the intensity ratcheted up even more so than when you were in the truck series? Um, it has in the middle of the field. Like, I feel like guys run over each other. But honestly, I mean, Christian has a right to do what he feels like is, is right. He had the best truck last night. And, yeah, was he a little aggressive? Sure. But um, he defended his spot. You know, I don't know if they were telling – my only thought was, are they telling him before the restart, hey, this doesn't matter as much to us. We're going to be in regardless of who wins. I don't know. Um, but he did what he thought was, was right, which was to go win the race. And um, sometimes being on offense is, is a lot safer than, than falling back and being subject to getting spun out and stuff. So, um, yeah, he did what he thought was right, and I'm sure, I'm sure they'll be fine. He's got a fast truck, and I didn't see anything majorly wrong with it. Thank you. I know last year was really hot here, and is, is it a relief that it's going to be much cooler and probably similar weather conditions than the, the spring when you were really good? Here? Yeah, it's similar for sure. I think it's the same temperature tomorrow, so 65 degrees. So now we've done a lot of things inside the car to, to help me and, um, and honestly a lot of things off the track too that I've gotten better at. So I feel like, um, yeah, I'm not worried about the, the heat or anything tomorrow. Thank you.
Trenton Warsham with FrontRush.com. Come back for more great racing videos. And if you like us, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.